Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ATS Clumsy Trucking Friday. How's it going, everybody? Can you hear me well? See me well? I'm feeling a bit rusty. We did not have a trucking stream last week. Sorry about that. Oh, my goodness, very busy at work. <laughs> I'm trying to juggle things. We'll see how long I can last. <laughs> Thanks for joining today. Glad you guys made it. Who are we dealing with today? This rowdy bunch. <laughs> How are you doing, Tom? Got dinner from the food truck outside. Burger with chips. Yum. Enjoy. And good luck with the the tooth, the teeth it's extraction. Goodness, that's pricey. Hey, Dr. Jones. Glad you made it today. Thanks for joining. How have you been? Scotsman first. How's that uh, stream that PDX asked you about? New line coming. Train Sim World, is it? How is it? What is that? Uh, where and what is that? New route. Thanks for joining, PDX. Glad you made it. Sorry I wasn't able to reply so much in the previous stream. <laughs> I realized I probably missed a ton of messages. I was so busy full focus on the simulator and working with the air traffic control uh, hopefully in this stream I can interact more with you guys all right let me see hey Ark thanks for joining we have a juicy topic today aside from the thing that we'll be checking out we have a juicy topic when it comes to payware stuff I've been seeing the discussions in discord we will have a more lengthy discussion about that here I think so uh, hang tight and please fasten seat belts. <laughs> hey, Resimbol, thanks for joining. Good evening. How are you? Hey, Jay. Glad you guys could make it today. Yeah, how has life been? Feels like it's been so long since we were able to hang out like this. Goodness. What's happening with you guys? Trucking, playing, IRLing. You just purchased the TDS GTN XI. Oh, awesome. You'll love it, man. You will love it. Are you having trouble with it? Um, I highly recommend joining the Discord for TDS. I actually am working with Tiberio right now. We're testing out a... I'm testing out something for them because they are working on bug fixes. And it's looking pretty good. So hopefully that gets released soon. There we go. Let me see... Wildest of Clumsies, there you go. Hey, there's Venom, yes indeed. Venom is here, perfect, thanks man. <clears throat> this is the map we're checking out today. Thanks to Venom for providing me a copy even before it got released. Um, yes, and if you have questions, for sure Venom can help clarify that better. Hey Storm, thanks for joining. And thanks for watching that, uh, that video on... TS2 Season 2, where we went to Tromsø, your home. Not up to scale, but at least we had the, the landmarks there, right? It's very nice. I enjoyed it. Good. Hey, Emmanuel. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. New York City commuter rail. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Grand Central Terminal, White Plains. So is that in New York City? Is that the same thing? <laughs> Sorry. It doesn't ring a bell to me so much. You know what we're going to be discussing already. Yeah, Ark will be the spokesperson. No, I think this time you won't. Yeah, you're not on the spokesperson side either. <laughs> you got a Fanatec DDCSL. Oh my goodness, Jones. Or Doc. Should I call you Doc or should I call you Jones? Because <clears throat> Dr. Jones is a bit long. But congrats, man. Oh my goodness. Have you tried it out yet? Massive force feedback. Do you have a mount for it already? Got your new phone yesterday. S22 Ultra. It's epic. That's the S22. That's the one with just like the S version and the Note version combined, right? With the, the pen. Oh, I, I was getting very tempted about that. 
also the best like low light stuff yep okay cool congrats have you tried it in low light yet hey daniel good evening how are you doing is that luis daniel yes i think so thanks for joining it's just a slow install okay that's good yeah i think maybe some network uh, problems i'm not sure but yes it will once it finishes you'll love it <clears throat> building your own rim with a original bmw wheel awesome man that's hardcore are you going to use it for trucking for racing are we still live because my my screen at least my stream preview flickered a bit did we stutter 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 I think we're back, I think. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Uh, sorry, we're not getting into the game yet because I just want to catch up with everyone. It's been a while. And I, I, I'm I am curious how you guys have been doing. Jones, okay, Jones it is, man, Jones. Sella Bones, Slav Rep. <laughs> how are you doing? Any new Slav mods you're, you're just testing out? How have you been? Mexican horn band radio. He's busy with school. He's been playing. <laughs> that is his school, I think, Jay. <laughs> Priorities. You have, and the screen is awesome. Nice. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me so much, for symbol. Congrats, man. Hello, Z Mod Rep. There we go. For trucking, amazing. Yeah, and with that, Jones, you'll get the full 1800 steering, right? Oh my goodness. Unlimited rotations. Still live. Saw nothing on your end. Okay, that's great. That's great. Because it flickered a bit on my end. You're driving Creech, a Renault engine now. Nice. Were you the, were you the one who shared it, Celebones? The, the, the mirror cams or the Renault? Nice. Um, I am trying a, an Australian map mod, but it's called Project Australia by Venom, who is right here on chat. And let's uh, get into it, guys. I actually haven't tried it yet, but let's get some info on it first. So here we go. A bit of background. There you go. Let's zoom in a bit so you guys can see better. Is that enough of a size? Project Australia with Venom 34. <clears throat> now, if you go to the SES forum thread, and as always, this is in the mods list. It will not be... I think it's downloadable, yes? From Trucky Mods or Direct Link, but this is the old version. So you can see this was last updated September 20. So much so that other people thought it was dead. So if you look at the last discussions here, you'll actually see... That there was someone who said the uh, map appears to have died. No updates at all. So people, you will, I think, get crashes when you try this in 143. But Venom uh, <laughs> quickly corrected that. And yes, I'm here to help correct that notion as well. So the, the map mod is very much alive. And it's the first time I'm trying this out. So it's a 1 to 10 scale recreation of the southern coast of Australia. Right. We do have another map mod for Australia by Rob. That's the Australian Outback. I'm not sure if it's the same region. But yeah, it's it's nice to be getting more of the Australian uh, love, right? <clears throat> so we're going back to Australia. I should get ready my accent. Good day, mate. <laughs> Luis Daniel. Ah, that's why. I see, I see. Yeah, because I remember the name, but not with those numbers, not with those sequences. So it looked a bit different to me. Thanks. Well, glad you made it to the stream. Good. No stutter. Okay, thank you. All right, let me catch up. 1800 with the real steering wheel. Yeah, massive FFB. Oh, hang on tight, literally. Let us know how it goes, Jones. Are you in Discord yet? For those who are not in Discord yet, join Discord, email me so I can give you the link. We're a bit uh, secretive about the link these days because we are trying to get really stay away from the trolls. We've had an incident before and we don't want it to happen again. So exclamation point email gets you my email. Just send me a note there and I'll send you the link. EDX, thank you for 10 months. 
months 10 months streak actually 18 months total oh my goodness thank you oh my goodness but it crashed on you msfs crash crashed uh, where loading screen that happens to me sometimes when, when msfs is loading and i was i'm installing peripherals at the same time plugging in my controller plugging in my yoke if i plug it in at the wrong timing it crashes i don't know why an australian truck truck hey gambler thank you i'll need the inputs today glad you're here because I, I don't know much about australia i've never been in real life i was planning to go in 2020 but we all know what happened in 2020 so that got <laughs> that plan uh yeah scratch that maybe eventually loading screen indeed hey alex glad you made it man how's the cane doing glad to hear that great progress man steady progress hey uh, alex uh you might be you might have something in common with jones here jones also got himself a csl dd you my guys might be able to get in touch and uh get some best practices in some learnings from each other you are in the discord jones awesome all right we'll be looking forward to it awesome guys thanks for being here yes i need this i need this i need the the downtime from work i need the hanging out with you guys uh with like-minded folks if you ever get to see it. <laughs> that's true <laughs> is it still with your parents they, they received it right <laughs> anyway so this is what we're testing out today i tried um well i loaded stuff in already um so we do have a separate profile it's a standalone map mod so we need a separate new profile for it it's a cheated profile so yeah let me hear it as early as now <laughs> we are using john ruda's truck i don't have any australian specific truck unfortunately most of the australian stuff i got actually some tips from venom thanks for that venom he gave me some links but um the links i try to uh how do you say I try to download mods if they have a proper either website or forum thread so there is context. If it's just a link, I'm a bit um, like a direct download link, I'm a bit uh, uh, not as sure about it. Because when I lead people to that mod, I want them to get the full context before they download anything. So I, don't, I didn't try any of that yet. Also there are some specific Australian trucks and trailers but they are all payware and I'm not quite sure if I'm get ready to uh, invest into the entire australian uh, vibe yet so bit by bit right baby steps first check out this map and based on the screenshots guys it looks very very promising look at that vegetation are these custom vegetation venom i'm not sure but it looks very unique it looks very uh, deserty and looks very high quality all right let's uh, let's check it out Let's get into the game. Enough chit chat. And as the game is loading, I'll try and catch up on chat. There we go. KSW is that key Shadow Walker? Yeah, I think uh, that's one of the guys that Venom recommended. Trucks don't really matter here. Okay, that's great to hear. Trees are fully custom. Ah, no wonder. All else is default vegetation with some modifications. Thank you. Thanks for being here, Venom. Appreciate it. And thanks for the opportunity to try this out. So, uh, in terms of mods, this is how it looks. Clumpy. Come out here. So, the default, the usual suspects. Chromator FOV, photo mode, for increased distance, delivery time. We're using the big cam today. It's my current favorite. <clears throat> and we are using the W900 from uh, John Ruda. Immersive symbols, three logos. Uh, yeah, nothing fancy, right? And then at the bottom is Project Australia, of course. Right? Nothing fancy. I might have missed a few mods here and there, but it should be more or less good. So we'll see. Where's NL? Um, yeah, NL is a bit of a... Yeah, I wanted to consult that with you guys because I am a bit apprehensive about trying it out. 
I am getting tired of trying something out that is not accessible to the public or will we're not sure if it will ever be and uh, I'm getting I'm going to get and I'm getting already tons of questions how to download it where's the download link and uh, so I think what I'm going with even if it's at a cost I won't be going with natural locks until there is a public version or at least until it is confirmed that it will go public because right now it's still all uh, hush hush private and stuff and uh, it's a bit frustrating you know I want you guys to have it too and uh, it's a bit like if I'm the only one that has it it doesn't feel as good also the questions don't feel good <laughs> Shadow Walker okay thanks let's load it up mm, good Let's uh, get rid of that one. That should be good. We want NL, yes, for sure. For sure. I want NL too. But I want I don't want it on my own. I want it for everybody. <clears throat> Alright, let's set the time first. I think maybe 6 a.m. should be good. Hey writer. Ah, NL is different. NL is Natural Lux. How are you doing? Natural Lux is a graphics mod, very famous a few years ago, but it uh, stopped. It got cut because the creator Kirill um, disappeared. So he, I think, lost interest in modding. So he stopped supporting it, and eventually, it, it doesn't get. It's not compatible anymore. But uh, someone. With the name of Cox user, um, was it Cox user? But yes, Cox um, revived it and has it working in the game. I tried it out; it's working, it's great. But it's a bit sketchy, gray area because we're not sure if we can share it because it's Kirill's. He didn't really give explicit permission, so there is that bit of like, can we share it? Can we release it, release it to public? That kind of thing. And all of that, we can give our recommendations. But at the end of the day, Cox will decide if he will release it or not. Yeah. So if you want it, convince him. <laughs> because I have no say in it. I want it to be released as much as you guys do. <clears throat> yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I tried it in private when I made that video. But I don't want to keep on using it because I will keep on getting questions and it's just frustrating not being able to share that. <clears throat> Diva lover. <laughs> That's true. There's the truck, by the way. I tried to make it as Australian as possible. We don't have many Australian um, config stuff for John Ruda, but uh, what I got is the more metal parts the more barriers, you know, uh, bull bars and whatnot, the better it is. <laughs> the more for, no more fit it is for Australian trucking. Hey, Led, it's been a while. How's it been? <clears throat> Writer, isn't it? How do you? What, what's the? What's that name? Is that a bad word or something? <clears throat> ETS2 mostly paint jobs, nice. Steam Workshop, we're doing com awesome. Thanks for your work then, thanks for your contributions to the community. Good. Looks good to me. <laughs> Great to hear. RP server, nice. Are you playing with uh, blah? Faraverissimo. I didn't do that again. Faraverissimo, thank you for 10 months, man. GG. Welcome back. Glad you made it today. Alright, let's get in it. Now, I am... I started in the southwest corner. I think if I zoom out, I think a better point of view will be this one. Is it? Yes. So here, you can actually see the entirety of Australia mapped. At least you have an idea where we are, right? This is the entire continent or entire... How do you call it? Entire Australia. Let's cut it there. In the different, what do you call these? States? Um, something like that. So we have Western Australia here, and this is the one that's mapped. 
it actually crosses over to South Australia. But I think currently this is the edge of what is uh, modeled in. And uh, Venom will fact check me there. That this is like the end to end Norseman to Madura? Madura? Yeah. So 313 miles, if that's 1 to 10 scale, then we should be reaching that in 10. Um, in tenth of the time, something like that. So six hours, twenty-six minutes. Cut that in one tenth. That's the real life time that we'll get there. Norseman to Madura. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Mounted soldier. Cool. It actually landed, Tom. Congrats. And glad you had fun there. So I'll be taking milk, 6 to 8,000 pounds. I'm not sure what the unit of measure is. Let's go and correct that. Maybe you guys can help me out in Australia. Australians. Mites. <laughs> uh, I should stop that. What should we have as currency? Is there something? No, I think. No, I think that's it. But what kind of um, units should we be working with? Is it a kilometer kind of thing? KPH? And then the weight units, uh, is that kilograms and tons maybe? Celsius? Volume units would be liters, I assume. Consumption units, what is that? Oh, okay. Bahamas to Miami, sounds scenic. Yeah, 1 to 10 from what we've seen in the website. Nice. The unit should default to Australian ones. Ah, might be, but I... It might have defaulted, but I overwrote it because I copy my settings from one profile to the other. Yeah, so that might have gotten overwritten. <clears throat> Is there an Australia preset? No, okay, so we just set it here. I guess that's like as metric as possible. Australia is, is that mostly metric? <clears throat> AD for currency and KM. Okay. <clears throat> mouse clicky noises from the fancy new mouse with the RGB lighting for better FPS. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, we don't have AUD, I think. Did we? Did we have AUD as an option in the in the thing? I didn't see it. We don't. Okay. Mm, that's okay. Alright. Money is not a the biggest thing here at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, US likes to be uh, special. Alright. Alan. Rex. Sniffing the pizza. He has uh, some intense self-control there. <laughs> but Alan seems a bit awake. Yeah, he seems like his eyelids are not fully shut. I think he's at the brink of waking up. And there we go. There's a truck. That's as long as I could get the trailers. I'm not sure. I think this is a custom trailer as well from you, Venom. Part of the map. Correct me if I got it wrong. But So when I was looking at the trailers... So if you go into the options, it does say standard trailers. But if you look at the last part, there is that insulated triple in here. And it's a bit weird because it's not part of any of the list here. Yeah, no no options here. And I don't normally see that. Normally you would see that as part of these options. And you could click something. So it, this looks like it's custom. <clears throat> Yeah, this is actually not a lefty mouse. This is an ambidextrous one, but yeah, works perfect for me because it's not at least biased. <laughs> That's as much as I could uh, hope for. The grain hopper one. Oh, there's a grain hopper. Let's see, let's see. This guy. Oh, okay. Triple. Is it this one? Well, I'm happy to do that. Yes. 
looking pretty good actually. I won't configure it as much. <clears throat> Maybe just the same as the other one. Or I think white should be enough, right? Should be plain, should be uh, uh, quite realistic already. <clears throat> nice trailer, let's keep it this way. Yeah, it, it does seem bigger. It, has it been like extended vertically for Australian um, specifications as part of this map? It does seem like it. Let's go and change some of the parts and see what we can configure. Chromed wall. Tight entrance and exit points with sharp turns. It is taller indeed. Ah, nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's go and get some chromey bits. Why not? To add a bit of shine. Are chrome parts quite uh, famous in Australia? Like in the US, right? The US trucks mostly have chrome parts. In Europe, you mostly have painted and plastic parts. In Australia, is there a specific trend? Let's go and get the Chrome Alcoa. I'll have to change each one of these. John Roo, the specific ones, looks so good. Good. Oh, nice. How do you know so much about it, um, Tom? Did uh, did Jeff uh, Fabignano stream this as well, or have you seen it somewhere else? One second, almost there, guys. One last tire, one last wheel. After this one, I hope I chose all the correct ones. Okay, good. Looks very nice. How about this one? Chrome door. Why not? Chrome door at the back. Nothing fancy. Although that in itself is fancy already. Good. Chrome wall on that side as well. Good. Jeff did a video on it. Alright, there you go. Figured as much. Thank you. Thanks for the heads up. We'll keep an eye out. That looks amazing. The height versus the trailer. Truck and trailer height. Beautiful go with that thank you for the reco venom three weeks ago oh I see was that a different version maybe an older one because <clears throat> I think there were updates in between oh I can still carry that is it no I have to change my trailer because it's the insulated triple at the moment dismiss yeah, I think a white one is actually a lot more realistic in this case. The painted ones looks too flashy. Doesn't look like a work truck. No worries, Tom. That's great. That's great. Thanks for the inputs. Okay, we don't get um, quite far jobs, but that's okay. Let's go with this one. Animal food, 71 tons. Norseman to Fraser range. Goodness, 71 tons? <laughs> Well, it's a triple. Um, I'm not sure if our engine is up to the task. We only have a 500 horsepower engine. We'll see. Yeah, the scale points have been added up. Thank you. Good. Let's go and hear it. <laughs> we can. Did more PC building sim today. Nice. Water cooling. Everything. Oh, I don't have plate number. Uh, I forgot it. One second. Uh, let's add that in. Because that should say clumsy right there. I think. Here in the middle. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Why did it turn off? Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. How does it work? City Skylines on Epic. How do how do you download the mods if all the mods are on Steam Workshop? 
water cooling. It's so good. Hey, have you seen the PC building simulator 2? <gasps> Look at there. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> awesome stuff. What a teaser. Goodness. <clears throat> I'd have better luck going from Madura to Norseman with the green hopper. Ah, the other way around, I see. It's okay, we'll crawl our way through. <laughs> Good. New pickup truck mod. Um, I'm waiting for the one from John Ruda, although to be honest, I'm not sure when it will release because of the current problems that we're having in real life. I'm not sure if he is impacted by that. Right. One second, where's my trailer? Um, I think I'll have to do some evasive maneuvers. And voila! There it is. There's the trailer. If you're not oh, familiar how I did that, let me know. I'll share with you the magic trick. <laughs> sounds goodness cheater <laughs> uh, that pickup is it yeah I've been looking forward to driving that pickup for a change change in scenery this I'm not sure when or if John Rota will be able to release it still because <laughs> I think he is from Russia right Are we lagging, guys? Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, something looked wrong. And uh, why was that car on the opposite side of the road? Ah, yes, we are in Australia, right? So is that 50 kilometers or 50 miles? Maybe kilometers. We are inside the city. Thanks, Venom. <laughs> no wonder that car was... Uh, not too happy with me. I do like this. They have those fire danger ratings as well. Total fire ban, no fires kind of thing. There's a digital speedo here. Which is what? Solar power? Looks of it? Yeah. Very nice. I like the details. The signage, the trees. There's a railroad crossing. I'm guessing actual trains cross here at some point. One second, let me see. There's a free non payware pickup mod available for 143. Oh, I think that's the one that Alex shared, was it? The F350. Ah. So you don't have to wait for John Ruda yet. Yeah. Alex, I remember you posted a link to that. Is there like a website? I remember seeing the link, but it, I think it was a direct link. So I wasn't able to try it. Who did... Who uh, made that mod? Oh my goodness. That's probably not how you turn a road train, huh? It probably can't be the same style as with a single trailer. My bad. I think we might need to adjust our driving style here. From Frank Brazil. Ah, I see. Frank Brazil, not Frank Peru. Is that a different person? Is that going to work? I have no idea. No, it's not. The power of the low gear. <laughs> One second, I missed someone. Hey Rob, thanks for joining. How are you? Checking out a different map mod today. Project Australia. It's very nice. 
plant direct from the author via face plant. What is face plant? Does he have like a, a website maybe with the details of that mod? So that's what I can link in the mods list. Really not a fan of those direct downloads. I kind of want to get an idea what I'm downloading. What is that purple thing that I keep seeing? Is that from the trailer maybe? I saw that in the side mirror. Or is that in the map somewhere? It's not always there. Okay, let's get that job. There it is. Z mods Kenworth interior sounds. Oh, thanks. Yes, uh, that's what I missed. Yeah, thanks for highlighting. Let's go and enable it after I pick up this load. Oh my goodness, how do I turn here? Well, we can try. Thanks, Tom. Um, I don't think we'll be watching that right now. And we're testing it. We're testing the mod ourselves now. But yes, maybe for additional context later on. Thank you. Hey, Sparksaw. Thanks for joining, man. How are you? Face plant is Facebook. <laughs> I see. Yeah, more app name. I agree. Hey, Jack. How are things, man? Oh, look at that. We managed it. Thankfully, it's a straight in. Good. King break. Get that in. The pink thing is a missing asset. Ah, I see. He has no website. I see. Yeah, it's there. And I wonder which one it is from. Thanks, Venom. Might be from the trailer, huh? Okay. Maybe his, his face plant page would be enough. Yeah, I can link people there at least. And then they can decide if they want to download the mod or not yeah just just for some context how have you been jack enjoying your skrs your oh my goodness so many goodies for me i can't keep track <laughs> what's the latest goodie we'll enable the interior pack thanks arc for remembering it A plan to turn around. That's a good point. Well, we, I think it automatically turns us around. There's a bit of built-in cheat there. Hey, Renato. Como estas? Hey, yeah. That's the only thing I got from that, sorry. <laughs> yes, English, please. So, interior. KW. Uh, no, that's not. <coughs> interior. That's the one. Interior and FX pack. Good. That should be okay. Mm. New pedal soon. Goodness, the whole package. What did you get? What kind of pedals did you get? Yeah, I turned us around automatically. Hey, Rex. Man, Rex has good discipline there. Or maybe he's munching on that pizza one bite at a time, huh? And we're not looking. There we go. Yeah, I can hear the shifting now. Thank you. Nice. Something in the world itself that is missing. Ah, I see. It might be. Yeah, it might be, might be. As long as it doesn't cause us a problem. We'll see. I do notice that my GPU is maxing out. So I'm asking you guys if you are lagging. 
we might miss a frames here and there my gameplay is still smooth but my preview is stuttering now so hopefully the stream itself isn't stuttering but yeah it's either the truck the map or a combination of both not sure if the map is my a bit heavy on the frames but for sure Rudas is and yes this time why turns right give way okay sealed here look right look left think Singapore look right first before looking left I like how this entire place looks it looks so how do you say like it doesn't feel like a city let's put it that way right feels more like a a settlement maybe as wide as I can is that work? let's have a look outside yeah there you go that's the turn how's the volume guys it's hit a bit too loud I can try and lessen that like this one just a tad yeah that might be a bit more uh, easy on the ears I'm on the wrong lane again eh? am I am I not <laughs> just in time to stay away from that car I think it will take a while guys for me to for that to sink in good the gearbox template oh thank you yes I haven't enabled it yet that's a good spot thanks for letting me know for the very uh, one second Let's just make this term, I'll stop and then uh, we'll try that out. No lag for you, okay, great. TLCM pedals, awesome. When is it arriving? Goodness. So what kind of pedals do you have right now? What are you expecting will be the upgrade? Um, so we wanted the Telemetry. Telemetry should appear like so. Is it up? Is it there now? I think so. Good. Norseman is quite a ghost town. Thank you. Wrong side of the road. Thanks, guys. Hiding info from you. model asset problem is that in the map okay let's let um let's let venom sort that out thanks let me see if i can load gears a bit there we go i like the trees i really like the trees i think next to the kangaroos the trees are make it so unique looking Hey KD, how's it going man? Glad to see you back in Discord man, that looks great seeing those triple trailers there at the back. In the US, do you have this kind of setup as well? Triple trailers, oh, tri triple trailers but uh, they, d they don't look like the... Are these the short versions like the triple pops? Or are these the three full length trailers? Can't quite tell, this might be the triple pop kind of setup huh road layout in Sydney it was so strange oh why so what made you say that just finished your DIY pedal pro project oh goodness CSLDD and DIY pedals yes please looking forward to that yeah, it looks like a mapping issue, Celebones. Looks like some ooze from Ghostbusters or something. <laughs> Drive safely. Heavy vehicles. Stray animals next 75 kilometers. Thank you. Keep an eye out. Very heavy. You can hardly accelerate, guys. Look at that guy just overtaking us. 
Hey, what happened here? Yikes. Whoa. <laughs> you guys see the truck gonna sink in? Mod conflict. I don't think it's a mod conflict. Is it? Did I miss some messages? Can we get rid of that purple thing? I thought it was a map issue. Adjustable. Ah. Uh, Season 2 of Upload. What is that, Tom? Is that a series? Upload? I, I think it actually will happen, Jones. I think it actually might happen. So let's keep our eyes peeled here and our hands on the steering wheel. And our foot near the brakes. It's on Prime. Nice. Let's take a photo here. I think that will be very nice. The vibe definitely feels like it's super hot outside. Get a nice shot of the truck. And with the iconic trees in full view. Why not? Maybe a bit more. Like so. And how much, how long the queue is behind us already. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Picard is out too. Ooh, nice. So many goodies to watch. No worries, Jack. Welcome back. Ooh, heavy. There's your steam, not stream, right? You're still here? Well, if you're not, you can't hear me anyway. Disney Plus, yeah, I still haven't bought it. Barely had time to watch. So lots of shows are piling up in Netflix and Prime. Which is a good problem to have. Picard has never been on Netflix on my region, I think. It's only been on Prime. Now it's not even on Prime anymore. Has it also been removed? Discovery has been removed from Netflix, so I can't watch it anymore, unfortunately. Rue Burgers. Oh my goodness. Is that a thing? Do I have music still on? One second, eh? Yeah, I did. It's a bit weird. I was hearing some background music. Is that a thing or is that illegal in Australia? Are kangaroos... Sorry for my ignorance here. This might offend some people. Are kangaroos um, eaten? <laughs> Sorry, that way, to be blunt. And I like the level changes in the road. There's always something happening, even if it's like a straight road, it's not really that straight. There's some signs here and there, trees all over the place. Beware when overtaking or approaching. And you have these like parking spots on the side very nice ah i see oh but i saw picard in prime the other day season two crap maybe they just removed it maybe i could have watched it back then a couple of days ago i'll check again later hopefully at least here maybe there's a bit of a, uh, a delay maybe i can still watch it they are. They are eaten in Australia. Okay, okay. Alright. Good to know. So this is not offensive what I said. Thanks. What's an emu? That's a bird, right? I think I remember Mrs. Clumsy having like a, a beauty product. Uh, emu oil or something like that. And then I remember asking her the same question. What is an emu? Isn't that when the, the, the person is kind of Sulking. <laughs> oh my goodness. People eat kangaroo burgers. I've never tried it. 
There is our dog food too. Ah, oh, I see. What are those roads on the side? Are those hidden roads? Interesting. You watched it last Friday on Prime. Oh, maybe it's still there. How many episodes? And is it the full season 2 now? Or is it like a uh, week by week kind of thing? Oh, oh. It's like a roller coaster. Oh. <laughs> but we're finally the road train is chugging along, guys. The road train is chugging along. We're reaching 100 kilometers soon for the first time. Feels really like a train. It takes ages to accelerate. So I would imagine it would take ages to break too. <laughs> Buffalo burgers. <laughs> Is it dwarfy? Oh, I didn't know the difference. Electric multiple unit, says the train guy himself. Very much in character. Oh, looks like we'll have to slow down. Looks like we are entering a city. What what does that mean? Like that when there's a road train entering sign, is that for us, or is that for the people who are not driving road trains? That's so that they are aware that road trains are driving in this area, so they have to be careful. Goodness, that's a bit slow. Emu. Oh, with a Y. Emu. Hey, Sounder. How are you doing, man? Glad you could join today. In your neck of the woods today, I think. At least closer. Not sure if you reach these parts of Australia. And thank you for sharing those pics of the the Bay 146. Do they call it Bay? Sounds a bit weird to calling a plane Bay. Watch for rules. Okay, let's keep an eye out. This is the dirt road indeed. Sure feels like it. The purple thing is a bit distracting though. Did someone answer me there and I missed the message? Can you repost it? No pink explosions on your end. Oh, okay. Hmm. So on Venom's side it's not there, so it might be a mod I'm using. I wonder, is that John Rudas? Maybe, maybe I have some wrong um, sequence. Only, only episode one. Crap. So that's what I saw, probably. Kangaroo burger, crocodile two, and ostrich steak. Wow. Quite nice. I've eaten some exotic food in Vietnam when we went on a food tour. Um, yeah, I think crocodile was one of them. I, I don't recall enjoying any of it though, but it's just like for the experience. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't repeat it. Just a one time thing. thousand hertz and 500 hertz too are those like the the signals for trains what topic are we talking about here pzd yeah yeah exactly those seem familiar the 500 is when you're approaching a a red aspect right the 1000 is when you're crossing the uh slow slowdowns or something yellow aspects or any slowdown I remember my PZB thingy. Ooh. Fried alligator meat, oh my goodness. Roux is good. Very lean. Easy to overcook and dry out. Does it taste very different? Like I remember if I when I eat the, like uh, 
you say, mutton tastes very different, very distinctive from chicken or beef or pork, right? So I'm guessing roos have their own like unique classification. Exactly. That pink explosion effect in the past when a truck or its paint skin needed updating. Oh, I see. It might be Rudas then. Maybe it's this paint job I'm using? Hmm, might be, might be. Crap. It's hard to isolate that. Alright, let's keep an eye out. But it's good to know that it's not in the map, so it's just with my mods. Okay, let's do a wide turn. Some branches over here, it should be okay. Let's open the windows. Okay, should have enough space in there. As long as this guy doesn't let me back it in somewhere, I'm okay. Ukrainian paint job, oh yeah, I bought that one too. Of course, why not? So, shall we talk about the elephant in the room? Maybe. Let me catch up with chat and see if there's other there are other topics before we talk about the elephant in the room. The huge elephant elephant in the room. The, or should I say the expensive elephant in the room? Look at the cones, guys. It, the cones are also stretched out. Because I think it stretches out depending on, on how long your truck and trailer combination is. And because we have this triple setup, it's stretching out to fit the entire length. Kind of. There it is, screen. Steering wheel on the wrong side. <laughs> That's true. That's one of, the, one of the elephants. Yeah. Unfortunately, I could not find a non payware mod for Australia. So this will have to do for now. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Um, in Australia, is having a car or a truck having this kind of setup, left-hand drive, is it legal? I would imagine not. I think in the Philippines, it's not. That's why I was surprised that in Europe, it's like fairly okay. In UK, it's either way is fine. So I remember in the Philippines, when you import like a car from Japan, which is a right-hand drive country, you import it into the Philippines, which is a left-hand drive country, you have to convert it first. And with the conversion, there's lots of complexity, right? And many things happen wrong. My dad bought an SUV before, a small SUV. Um, yeah, from Japan, it was converted and the, the, the indicators, the sticks were so weird. Like, it doesn't feel natural because it's not. it was not built uh, with that uh, layout in mind. It's legal. You need to paste a sticker at the back. Oh, interesting. Ah, opposite side is legal in the US as well. I see. Maybe it is legal in the Philippines. Yeah, maybe it's just not practical. Maybe people just won't like it, right? Because they're so used to only having one side, I see. Maybe that's the reason for the conversion. It's less about legality and more about the sellability. <laughs> Makes sense. Good. Alright, let's see if there's a job here that takes us more to the east. Of course not. Um, let's see. <laughs> Is this the only one? Okay, let's just drive to Baladonia then. You don't really need a job. Uh, let's see, let's see. First, one stop at a time. Is that something we'd want to go to? Is that a pickup point maybe? So that looks like a company. That one too. But I think those carry different cargoes. Oh, there, here we go. There's plenty. But they are all going to the same spot. Thank you for that. <laughs> Random job generation. Uh, thank you for your constant... Uh... Oh, how about this one? Hey, this can work. Three trailers of lumber. If we can configure that, maybe that works, huh? Let's see. Good. Where is that? Let's go. 
Is it night already? Might be, huh? Well, there are lots of rest areas along the way, so it shouldn't be bad. Peterbilt doesn't sell trucks in Australia, so they can convert those. Ah, I see. Lights. Bottom right of that map, edge of Null Arbor Plain. Oh, cool. So are any of these places familiar to you? Do they ring a bell, the names? Have you actually been to any of these? It's super cool, man. You are, I think, our closest local here. Well, aside from Venom, maybe. I'm actually not sure where you come from, Venom. Are you from around these parts? Oh, I like how those trailers are... Uh, Bouncing around all over the place. There, it's legal. No stickers, no nothing. ET is Portugal. Technical inspection. Ah, I see. You rode your Harley to Madura Roadhouse. Nice. You're from Europe, I see. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you were born in South Australia, Sounder. Okay, so Sounder is our, <clears throat> is our resident tour guide. ET is Portugal indeed. Nice. Okay. Thanks for the context. Okay. Let's discuss that elephant now. <clears throat> I've been looking through the discussions in Discord that uh, Zmod's uh, new truck is now in pre-order. I think it's 45 USD. The full price is 50, 50 USD. And uh, most of the people who are speaking in Discord at least are saying it's too expensive. I'm sure there's a market for it but I think so far at least for those folks who are, have been very vocal at with it they are probably not the market so yes how do you feel about this announcement some are not in favor of payware stuff at all some are okay but it's pricey some are okay period where do you sit in the spectrum? Let's hear it. <laughs> there are cheaper Western stars out there. Ah, that's a very good argument. If you are talking about payware stuff, then you compete with other payware stuff. Actually, you don't just compete with other payware stuff, you also compete with free stuff. But that's true. If you are looking for Western star trucks, maybe there are alternatives that's a good point too Jay it might be a big leap because Zmods is known for his sound mods and his sound mods are very affordable they might be a bit on the pricey side these days but they are at least less than 10 USD right so it's uh, more affordable and then he release he will release something that is like 10 times more expensive even if it's a completely different product yes i get why other people will be there is a sentiment that it's a huge leap there is a sentiment that it's too pricey and that might that sentiment might be perfectly justified you won't be buying it anytime soon way too expensive right yeah that, that that's a good point but when we talk about payware trucks how much what is the normal range what is the usual range for payware trucks this i guess me admittedly i've not bought many payware trucks i bought rudas have i bought anything else breads um have i bought anything else guys <laughs> i forgot about them already uh, 
Was there something moving in there? Oh yeah, because it's a logging uh, thing. Yeah, payware itself, it's not legal. Mm. Can be a bit of gray area, might have issues with licensing sometimes, but in its own, it's not illegal outright. <clears throat> Crap, missed it by a hair. You've gotten into modding yourself. Models used for in-game trucks are very expensive. Ah, yes. Because, yeah, that's that's a very common route, right? You get models from, that were done by other people. And then you import it and make it compatible and optimize it for truck sim. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's the one I like. The flatbed triple. Okay. Can get behind that. Yes. But yes, I totally understand why SCS um, is not in favor of them, does not support them, because it can tarnish their reputation with the official manufacturer, so they have to stay on the safe side. But yes, not, not everyone needs to be on that side, thankfully, otherwise we would have no trucks to play with. But yes, completely understandable from SES's point of view. As well as the parts if you don't make them yourself. Ah. Yeah, let, let, let's... Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a topic in itself, right? Is being here allowed or not? Because do you have like license from the official stuff and not? Let's not focus on the legality of it. I guess we'll never finish. But let's more focus on the from a buyer's point of view. The paper stuff you've seen. Which one is worth it? Like the price. Let's let's talk about the price of the truck. What is the normal payware truck price that is reasonable for you? What have you seen outside and what is reasonable for you? Okay, let's start with that one. Um, one second, I have something in... This is the button. There you go. There it is. Oh, I, I like the grain. The, the previous trailer we had more. But this is not bad either. Not too shabby. Alright. Do we rest first? What time is it anyway? Um, 6.50. No, I think we can still go. We'll find the rest area somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So let's not focus on the legality. Let's focus on the point of view from a buyer. What are you willing to pay for? Let's assume that it's legal, okay? Just for conversation's sake. I like the, the dust particles being thrown from the tires there. Very nice. Let's also observe if the purple thing will still be there. Maybe it is part of the trailer, I don't know. I have not seen it yet. We go outside. Yeah, I have not seen it yet. Maybe it's gone. Maybe it was part of the trailer. Maybe it was a specific part, customization part I chose. Maybe one of the chrome doors or something. Not so sure. Alright, Sounder. Wedge tail eagles. What is that? Goodness, that sounds scary. Thanks, man. Stay safe. Thanks for dropping by. Yes. Liking your place so far. <laughs> 25 USD like rules are cheap. So. Yes, remind me guys, because I'm, I'm, as you know, right? Goldfish memory. Hmm, Ruda trucks, how much are they? Are they all 25? Hmm. I remember the Freightliner Classic was a bit less expensive. 
the others a bit more expensive but I can't remember the exact price and then Fred Scania I think was around was it around 40 50 USD yeah let's start there and then other truck mods that you've bought uh, Kishado Walkers uh, RTA uh, what other things um Pinga? Pinga? Is it? Does he have payware stuff, I think? Uh, there are so many great uh, payware modders out there who I haven't uh, tried yet. I don't know if some of you have more experience in it than I have. Yeah, price is very subjective, that's very true. Never paid over 35 for a truck mod. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. One second, let me catch up. Oh, there was something there. Hey, Matt. Musta. Thanks for joining. Were you trucking as well? Were you streaming? How's it been, man? Never paid for a truck mod, yeah. Yeah, that's perfectly sensible as well. Not everyone is into payware, either against the concept of it or just just not against the concept of paying. All well and good. There we go. Follow Boss Matt World. He has his own Twitch channel and he streams trucking as well. There we go. Personal home garage sounds fancy. Speaking of personal home garage, let's go ahead and sleep here. Because it's getting pretty dark and it's not very scenic anymore. Speaking of that, getting rusty with the floating of the gears. Poor thing, man. Thanks, Jay. Yeah. 40 is just too expensive. It is very expensive, isn't it? Hmm, I wonder where that pricing, how that pricing came to be. It's probably reflective of his expenses, most probably. Right? He probably, I don't know, rented a truck or got some 3D models. I'm not sure who his modeler is. If there is someone else or it's also him. Maybe he had to pay that modeler, things like this. But I'm sure there has been some computation that came into it. And at the end of the day, it came to that price. Um, we don't really need to take a job, but we need to sleep. And I'm not sure where the rest area is. It says it's there. I'm going to hope that we can just drive in there and it will be okay. Maybe if we slow down enough, let me go through here until it appears uh, this is different this is project Australia yeah also also in Australia but uh, different crap different one <laughs> what did they hit kangaroos too if we find one we saw one hopping a while ago but i haven't seen one since on the road crap i don't think it works you're not against paying you have sounds from z ah right right so it's just not worth it for you the truck mods that you've seen so far like you don't find it uh, um yeah worth the there, there it is nice the cost Makes sense. How about for the others? Because yes, admittedly... Oh crap. Expects delivery very soon. Well, you have a late delivery today. Right, the Zemo truck. Because I've seen the screenshots in his Facebook page. They looked very, very nice. Like the interior, the wood texture... In the panels, it looks very good. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. 
But yeah, the price might be pretty steep for many people. I'm sure some people will still buy it. Because some people bought the... What was that, guys? The $80 thing? $70 or $80? What did I hit now? Oh. That one. That rock. Yeah, that's why we have a pull bar, guys. Because, uh... <laughs> it's hard to predict the roads here. Oh. Okay. Doms. Maybe it's Doms? Yeah, might be. Yeah, the, the $80 one. And those mods, I know of some people who bought it and are happy with it. So I'm sure some people will still buy this one. But it might alienate a large group huh? because of the price. Right. I'm sure it took a lot of effort and I'm sure that price is coming from somewhere. It's not because of a money grab or anything. But yeah, it is still pricey at the end of the day. So I'm, I'll, I'll check when the, when the truck is out, I'll check if my coupon, I do have a coupon code from Z where he said I can try out any of his mods. I'm not sure if that includes the truck, but if it does, then I'll test it out. I'll drive it here, and we'll check it out, and you guys can decide for yourselves if it's worth your money, right? Because maybe it's that good, right? I mean, for example, Fred Scania. Fred Scania is expensive, right? I think it's around 50 USD, around that price point. And why why that one? We all love, or at least many of us do, right? We don't get, we don't, we didn't give that pushback versus Z mods. Why is that? Maybe because we haven't given Z mods a chance yet? Maybe? Like the devil's advocate here? So let's give it a chance and then let's judge it. But yeah, it's it's good to know those first impressions that it's it's pretty pricey. It has to be really good to be worth it. Things like that. Not the roofs, the rocks are the real enemy. <laughs> Very true. Very true. The roofs are just harmlessly hopping along. The rocks are really in your way. Good point. 105 USD? The rolling? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, even more expensive than a plane. OMG. Let me take a photo here. The sky looks beautiful. Yeah, there it is. Goodness. Is this default sky? It looks great. I think that looks like a thumbnail shot to me, isn't it? Yeah. See a bit of the road, a bit of the Australian ish setup of the truck and trailer and those those iconic trees. What do you call these trees anyway? Desert trees. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh. <laughs> this is like a horror show. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, uh, I have to prepare myself better for it. I might squeal and go octaves higher than my normal voice does. <laughs> No, you missed it. <laughs> Go, someone clip it, guys. Someone clip it. For those who missed it. <laughs> ah, that's nice. So for writer, it's about the legality. All good. Yeah. People don't necessarily agree with that. Some people, many people here. At least many of us are into payware stuff. As long as the price is right and it's worth it. But yes, I completely understand your point. And uh, yeah, if that's an issue for you, then that's an issue for you. We don't contest that. Right. Long 
dark granny voice came out. Oh yeah, um, who was the name of that character? Grey Mother. Grey Mother came out a bit there. <laughs> if there is ever an Aussie map for the hunter, you will be the first one on the invite list. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yes, I might take you up on that offer. Actually, it does sound very... Actually, I don't know. Is is hunting allowed in Australia? Because wh from what I know in Australia, Australia has a lot of the... How do you say? Different creatures, right? So many varieties of creatures. That's actually one of my reservations. Because we actually considered moving to Australia to live. But one of my reservations is Australia is known for having lots of creatures and I hate creatures. I hate them when they get into my house, you know, like you have to like have a pest problem or you have this critter, you have this humongous lizard that you have to dispose or get rid of or chew away and you know, all that kind of all those problems. I really, really hate the, those kinds of problems. And even here we get it like you have a small lizard, you have to chew it away. I'm very bad at those. So yeah, it's one of my reservations in Australia and I, I heard there are so many different types here and some of them are harmless, some of them are huge, some of them are dangerous, but I'm not sure how real that is. So if you have more inputs, more insights to that, then let me know. Road to Asia 1.3, oh good. I still haven't tried it. I think I told you guys about it already before, right? Someone reached out to me from their team. I said I was good, but I can't promise any commitments. I cannot commit to a schedule. I cannot commit to saying only good stuff. I haven't heard from them since, so I haven't been able to try it. They might be busy. Everything in Australia will kill you. And I like the landscaping here. Very nice. Huge spider. Jurassic Park mod, I've seen it in a screenshot. I think Plum posted it in Discord. <laughs> very, very uh, um, creative mind who made the who thought of that. Are there actual dinosaurs on the road? It seemed like it from what I saw. Iron skin. All creatures. My goodness. Yeah. That, that's that's my impression at least. So I'm, I'm pretty... It's because we have many friends who are in Australia now. I actually have to ask them about this. Many, many of them are in Sydney and Melbourne. Most of them are there. Maybe 50-50. But I think even there you have lots of different creatures. And it's it's a very um, what do you say? It's a very famous place for uh, starting a family, getting your own house, and things like this. But that's always been like a big concern for me. Like, yes, you have your own house, but you have all these creatures who are roaming around <laughs> and getting into the house or trying to get in. Oh, that scares me. And it might be a very uh, it might be a very shallow thing, but I really hate that aspect. It stresses me out. Like, you know, when you wake up, you just want to relax, get a cup of coffee and relax and start playing or start working. And then suddenly you see something in front of you, something that should not be there that's crawling around. And Oh my goodness, the stress. And even more so if it starts to like destroy uh, your furniture or your property or whatnot, right? So it's a, it's a hassle. It has dinos and it will attack you. The modders are being like, oh, are they? Cool. <laughs> Very creative, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, props to the Filipinos. <laughs> Beautiful minds, huh? Amazing. Do we have to slow down here? No, I don't think this is still a highway. Baladonia? Yeah, it looks like a quick stop here. A rest area. Not sure if we can pick up jobs as well. Might be. Very nice. Stick to the UK where the biggest creep 
uh, creature where you will be slugs eating your cabbages. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So yes, that's uh, I'm I'm pretty scared about that aspect. Yeah, it's a shame Sounder left already because we could have gotten some like local insights. Maybe it's not as bad as it sounds. Maybe it's even worse. But that will remain a mystery for me for now. Anyway, so to uh, to go back to the payware topic, guys. So, anyone here planning to buy Z mods? What I've seen so far is no one is interested in buying, but maybe there's someone who isn't just hasn't voiced it out, or at least interested in seeing what it has and if it's like. If it has the right stuff, then you're willing to shell out the 45 or 50 USD. But yeah, that is interesting. It is very pricey. Almost or a bit ex more expensive than Fred's, I think. Fred's has been justified. And many of us agree there. Not everyone, but many agree that Fred's pricing is acceptable because of all the customizations he has in his truck so I guess from a logic point of view as long as the customizations the smoothness the polish the entire feel of the truck as long as it's worth it and it might be very hard to make it worth it at that price point that's what I get from you guys that's what I'm getting Streamer eating spiders. Eating spiders. <laughs> Yikes. Project Next Gen. Yes, Jones, there is a history about that. I'm 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 a bit salty about Project Next Gen, although I've heard very good things about it. especially the later versions, 1.04 and the upcoming 1.05. I've heard many good things about it recently, so I'm thinking of getting in again. But I'm, I'm a bit salty about it because there is a history, okay? Um, I bought it before, actually. I bought it before. Project Next Gen Photorealistic Experience. Yeah, that's handful. PNG, PRE. I bought it. I was an early access supporter, so I had access to it. And at some point, he... Uh, oh, look at the, the landscape, guys. It's different now. No more trees, more bushes, more deserty, But still, tons of bushes. I like this view. Goodness. And yes, I, I like that it's really just... Never just flat, right? So many things happening. You have signs. You have bushes. You have variety in the road. You have kangaroos crossing every now and then. Awesome job, Venom. Thank you for this map. So yeah, with PNG PRE, I bought it, early, in early access supporter, and from what I understood, maybe I understood wrong, that I was going to get free updates, and I was going to, um, yeah, get free updates, and then eventually, I think there was a change in the platform, there was a change in the decision. That the updates are now going to cost something extra and I think even more than that if I remember correctly you had to repurchase the mod because it's now a different version it's now a totally different so the early access supporters will have to buy it again that's what I got at least so actually when he first announced that I sent him an email I told him hey I bought this as an early access supporter um, is there a chance I could get the newer version and he didn't reply to me it's either he was too busy or more likely he's not interested in that he really wants you to buy it again and that just didn't sit well with me so uh, after that I, I purposely did not look at his mod anymore so that didn't sit well with the, like it's more of a the quality I think is great but it's more the the ethics maybe which is a bit questionable on my end so like I, I, he lost my trust as a customer from that point of view <laughs> but yeah if it's that good 
if he's still willing to sell it, maybe I'll get him. I don't know. I'm still debating it though. My my morals are saying no, but maybe the visuals will make me say yes. Not sure. What do you guys think about that? Should we get into PNG again if he if he is willing to sell it to us? Not for you. You have the FLB, yeah. The FLB in Fuso, huh? <laughs> Why pay for a truck when you have all the goodies already? Yeah, perfectly. Makes sense. The, the Western Star is about the same price as Fred. It is just a different currency, so it's a bigger number. Ah, that's a very good point, Storm. Yes, exactly. So, if logic dictates it, if they have the same config options, the same amount, the same quality, or if Z Mods is even better, then people should ha shouldn't have a problem with it if they didn't have a problem with Fred's. That's a very good point of view. But yeah, if you have a problem with Fred's as well, if that's too expensive for you, then then that makes sense. It's too expensive. But if you were okay with Fred's and you're not okay with Z mods, that might require a different like uh, changing of the mindset because it's the number changes, but the price itself. If you switch currencies, it's more or less the same. The longest straight road in Australia. Is it really? It does feel like it. But it's it's amazing what you've had to do here, Venom. I really like it. It doesn't feel like it's just a flat road all throughout. It uh, There's always something happening. Although you do have that downside that if you look far enough, you see those trees popping in. But I think that's more of a graphics engine limitation, right? There's nothing much we can do if it's really a flat road. Then uh, you see everything till the end. Then you really will see if a tree will pop up out of nowhere. Because there is nothing to hide that. Oh! 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 Why did the kangaroo cross the road? Oh my goodness! At least he knew how to stay on the sidewalk, right? Side hop. And yeah, the, the landscape varies. Sometimes you have full of trees. Sometimes it's only bushes. Man, this must, must have taken so much time to, to model. Uh, Venom, if you could give some insight on how you did this. Is this more of like a, each bush is placed one by one? Or is this more because I think SCS has like a procedurally generated kind of logic with the bushes. They were you able to make use of that somehow? Alright, right. Have a good one, writer. Thanks for sharing your opinions here. Really appreciate it and your your honesty. Thank you for uh, yeah, sharing what you really feel. And uh, thanks for joining the stream. Have a good one. Have a good night and catch you next time. You also had to pay five bucks to update. I see. So as an early access adopter, I could have gotten a discount at least. I see, I see. Yeah, because he, he didn't reply to me. I don't like to message him on Facebook. Because I don't want to use my personal account to message him. So I sent him emails. But I think he's less responsive to emails. If PNG promised free updates and then changed mid midstream, then I wouldn't touch it. It's a very good point, yeah. It's a matter of principle, isn't it? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm more on that side at the moment. Let's see if I crave enough for it to change my mind. But so far, um, yeah, my principles are still holding. And I like the undulations. Gavin really shakes. He never said anything about pro updates and prices before. I think he did, but yes, you might have a point there. Maybe I misinterpreted it. Yeah, maybe I just assumed it because that's how these things go most of the time. Maybe he didn't explicitly say it and I just assumed it because most of the things that you pay for, you get for free afterwards. The, the updates? Maybe. Hey, there's one more, guys. Look at that, he's actually crossing the road! 
Oh, so cool. It, it's so natural. Did you have to model that in your own Venom? That is so cool. And the animations look so real. Amazing. By the way, Venom, any any planned release date for this? I think you told me next week you're planning to release it. Is that Does that still hold? And will this be free? Are you planning a patron for this? I think it used to be free. Are you planning on changing that? You can let us know more details here. No one else is listening. It's just us. Haven't figured out how SES makes the trees blend in nicely. I don't know. It seems like you figured it out from my point of view. It looks so it looks so natural. I always write him on Facebook. Ah, yes, that might be a no-go for me. I don't message uh, using my personal account. I see. Thanks, Jones. Totally understand. You have control over how vegetation is placed on each road segment. Having so many road segments causing these bumps in the road played into your cards. Ah, because to, in order to introduce these bumps on the road, they had to be different segments. Is that what you mean? Like if you just want, like a, you can make it just one segment that is a straight, long, flat road, but it will only be one level. It can't have bumps in there. So in order to introduce bumps, you had to like say, okay, this segment has bumps. This segment is flat. So that had to be different segments. So you had to like put that in manually separately did i get that right man that seems like a ton of work i'm gonna speed up a bit to really feel those bumps i'm not sure if i do want to feel it <laughs> but uh yeah we can try for science right just don't blame me guys when we tip over okay yeah really nice work on those animals this will be free. Awesome, guys. You heard of that. Just ironing out a few last bugs, so it may take a few days to release. Awesome. So probably sometime next week, you can expect this to release for everyone uh, for free. And then I think Venom has a patron page uh, where you can you can donate. Yeah, you don't get anything extra at the moment. It's just if you want to show your appreciation, you can. But it's optional, purely optional. Thanks, Venom. Make a fake Facebook account only for writing PNG owner. That's true. Yeah, it, it, it is a possibility. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I might be a bit too lazy for that maneuver, though. <laughs> good, good tip, though. Good tip. I'll think about it. Thanks. AR-308. I'm assuming that's a rifle. That's a caliber of the rifle goodness the hunters already having plans yeah because it, i was yeah i was jumping into that topic because of all the creatures here and if hunting is allowed then i would assume that the the developers of the hunter this would be one of their prime areas to consider right so the, so many different animals to uh, to put in why am i oh i think i'm touching the middle middle marker full throttle this looks really nice yeah very nice vibes I'm on the speed limit guys <laughs> should I go faster no no it's just let's drive responsibly I think I'm happy enough with the very gentle bumps on the road if you want more bumps you can play GTA <laughs> I'm happy with these bumps Hey, Game Theorist, that's a very good question, Venom. Maybe you have an idea. There you go, 90 miles. Lane following, our nav. Lane following. Yeah, I think the newer trucks do, right? But I'm not sure if Australian trucks have it. Or if it's more a manual thing like this, what we're doing. Bam. <laughs> Van Hammer. A long requested map for the hunter. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Then we'll get to see all those creatures that I'm afraid of, <laughs> and we get to uh, we get to shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Hey, by the way, I just remembered. I remember, Alex, you recommended or you suggested or you at least gave into view a game. Um, it's like The Hunter. Amazing visuals. But instead of a gun, you have a camera. Is it like photo photographer simulator or something like this? Have you heard anything from it since? So I really like that concept. You know, the peace-loving, scenic kind of thing. Sightseeing. And you shoot animals from a lens of a camera instead of from a rifle. I really like that. Yes, excuse me. <clears throat> Not yet out. Okay. Is it really the name? Photography Simulator? Did I get it right? Okay, that's good. <laughs> I was just guessing. Yeah, because the graphics look so cool. And the concept I really like. And I think you can get money from depending on how you compose the shot, right? Depending on what you take pictures of. Very nice. Cool, yes. The Roadhouses, that one we just passed. Crap. I should have read that a bit earlier. Sorry about that. Yes, the next one, let's do it. I like that idea. Hey, slider. How are things going? Drive anywhere recently? Oh look, there's a road that's going left there. Wonder where that goes. Yeah, and I think because it's just a straight road, we can actually use this kind of zoom, right? Just to get an idea of what's um, up ahead. That one. All right, thanks, Jay. You can paste it in. Uh, was it suggestions? Yeah, I think suggestions. Yeah, you have these bushes, you have this these trees, different areas in this like a rest area. Oh, I think it's this one that's the rest area, the one on the right. Yeah, makes more sense. A bit more spacious. Finland and Norway. Cool. You still have winter on? By the way, guys, how is it going in your places? Especially those with winter. Is it still full-blown winter? Because it's March already. Is spring starting to peak out? How are things looking? So I'm wondering what kind of mods to enable in Truck Sim and Flight Sim. We have season mods there on both sims. And I'm wondering if I should change it soon. Thanks, Jay. Spring started there in India. Bushfire area incoming. What is that? That's scary. Changing to spring slowly. Nice. What's the weather like now? What, are, what temperatures are you getting these days? Is it more in the tens? Not anymore in the zeros? Madura, 50 kilometers. And there's a left turn here. Ooh, dirt road. Okay. Bushfire. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. Crap. Yeah. Is it? Am I looking at trees that have burnt down? Or are they just dried up? They look burnt to me. Yikes. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, it looks very different. Very nice. Yeah, well, not good in real life, but very nice variety. Good. One second, I missed some folks to get back to you. Part of Australia yearly stuff. It's something that happens naturally, I mean? Or is it induced? Or does it happen naturally because of the heat, because of the lack of moisture and things like that? Hey Paz, is that you? Clicks? Oh my goodness. Thanks for joining Paz. Appreciate the company. What do you have going on right now? Are you still modding? Sorry, I haven't been so up to date with the, the mods. Awesome stuff, your work. Sixteen. Wow. Six at night. Yeah, that sounds like spring. Cool. I like it. 
Hey, Barbas. How's it going, man? Play any DCS recently? Hey, Warthog, what's the news? Has the Warthog arrived? Goodness. From what I've heard, that Warthog is a one heavy beast. Once you sit that on your desk, I don't think it will go, be going anywhere anytime soon because of how heavy it is. Super stable, from what I've heard at least. I think it's time to slow down. He can't lift it. Cigarette is what cost it? Cigarette? Oh, I see. Oh, crap. Stop. Revive. Survive. What is the context of that sign? Nice, no. Quite interesting. Oh, sorry. One second. Uh. We won't stop by here. Four times as heavy as the X56. <laughs> Definitely no plasticky feel, huh? Definitely not plastic. Can't even use the joystick. Too heavy for your weak behind. Ah, I see. So you need to work out a bit before you can use it? My goodness, now that's next level. I like, yeah, the, the additional DA. Doggo! <laughs> that is so cool! It even moves! Can I see him moving his ears? Ah, super cool! I like that. Okay, okay, that's something we'll do. Because I think we're reaching the end of the map here, but we still have time. So I think we'll just go the other way and see if we miss some details. And we'll stop by all these uh, rest areas for the additional details. Doggo! Stray animals. Awesome stuff, Venom. That sign means rest stop ahead. Oh, okay, I see. So the revive is like a, a hyperbole. <laughs> like rejuvenate. his last delivery <laughs> hopefully not <sighs> there's a rest there area there Brumby's run Ooh, I think we'll get there eventually yeah let's go there on that point later man I love how this cliff looks let's take a photo here from the back I think would be nice let's see throttle is mostly plastic the stick is mostly metal, ah. So the weight, where is it coming from? From the metal parts. There must be a huge amount there. Make it that heavy. Let me take a photo of this. Looks so good. That one can work. Still busy in southern Arizona. Oh. I am pretty interested in Arizona at the moment because uh, number one, Fabio just streamed the Grand Canyon. He flew over it with the special rules on how you fly over the Grand Canyon and things like that. And number two, I also follow Aviation 101 who also flew over the Grand Canyon but in real life this time. And he just released a video a few hours ago, I think. So everything Grand Canyon related. So I'm very much into Arizona. And then Pilot Edge. That thing I'm using in flight sim with the real life people ATC coverage that includes Arizona. There we are. Stick is mostly metal, and our handle is pretty much metal. Oh, nice. It's great to hear. Are you satisfied with the workmanship of the Warthog? Does it feel premium enough for the price? 
Most crashes happen due to driver fatigue, so Australia is full of those signs. Ah, no wonder. Okay, because it's uh, it, you can't miss it. Okay, so all the signs you could see to give you a heads up that there's a rest area coming. Because by that time, if you're fatigued, then you almost can't see anymore, right? So you need the sign to be as obvious as possible. Makes sense. Still busy in Southern Arizona, Northern Sonora, Mexico. Oh yes, I haven't tried the new update in Reforma yet with the improvements in the Mexico area. Got to rebuild lots of your older stuff in Yuma and El Centro as well. They've aged a lot. Nice. Looking forward to those updates, man. Thanks for joining. A slider, yes, indeed. Someone told us about it. What's new in Road to Asia 1.3? I actually have not been um, keeping track of that map. Hello? Why is that not working? There we go. An inch short. Okay. We actually finished this one. Surprised. And touch. Yeah, Jones, that's also one problem I have. I don't know which direction. I just assume it. And if it's the wrong assumption, then I have to. Okay. <laughs> we didn't earn anything. Whoa, South Korea, North Korea, and is that China? CN? Goodness. Very nice. Yeah, I think Korea is left hand drive, isn't it? I was surprised about that. I thought they would be the same as Japan. Extension. Uh, I see. Right. Yeah, I think that will be like a, f uh, not a free, but it will be like a built-in workout for you. Whenever you use it, you'll get a bit of exercise as well. <laughs> cool. Kaiguna Dirt Road. Oh, thank you. Where, where is that? This one. Okay, let's have a look. Thanks, Venom. Yes, I like that. How about this one? Is that the one? No. Kaiguna Dirt Road is this one right here. Oh, okay. Let's see if there's a job that's going there. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, of course not. <laughs> of course there is nothing. Now what we can do, we can drive to the dirt road here, see what job there is. And if there's nothing, then we just drive here on our own. No need to do a job, but I want to go through here though. Um, why is that looping around? Uh, let me say, avoid this one. There you go. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, we don't have a trailer. Ah. Oh, that's okay. I will need to go around anyway. I can bring back the trailer later if needed. How the heck do I leave this place then? Huh, interesting. There won't be a job there. Okay. So the, the place where we're going to, that doesn't have a pickup point, uh, that doesn't have a, like an industry. Complicated. Does not feel different than to the 50x55. Okay. That's too heavy for you, I see. Mm. So, in terms of precision, it feels like it's the same as the x55. Maybe when you get used to the the strength required, maybe you'll uh, get the precision more. Maybe you'll uh, appreciate the precision more, I don't know. 
The grain hopper. And then you guys call me a cheater again. I've fallen for that before. <laughs> no, the, yeah, that, I'm, 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 that sounds good. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Should have cargo from there. Okay, let's try it. Where is the pickup point here? Have a good night, Jones. Goodness, 3 a.m. Thank you for staying so long. Appreciate the company, man. Good luck on that. Uh, yeah, we'll be waiting for the photos. Oi, oi, oi! Yeah, confirmed. It's the trailer. <laughs> Looks like you can't do the same thing with uh, <laughs> with long setups. Let's blame Dwarfy. Blame Dwarfy. <laughs> um, we might need to repair this. <laughs> New kangaroo spot. It's a big one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, where, how do we fix ourselves here? One second. <laughs> There is no service. There is only one service, I think. And it's all the way at the beginning. <laughs> uh, your truck is not in a position. Okay. Let's go for... Yeah, we're in a ba very bouncy mood. Let's go and get fixed here. Tow to service. 19,000. Take 41 hours. Yeah. What is money? Let's see if I spawn in. Okay, I was expecting when I spawn in, I will have that problem again. Yeah, why do I have this problem? Venom, you tried yours, right? Doesn't have that thing. So there must be a specific thing that I have that you don't. Maybe go painted. I don't know if that's that could be it. Let's try. Bounces like no one else. <laughs> Hey, Asib, did you see the bounce? That bounce works for you. <laughs> Let's go default everything just to be on the safe side. Subaru Outbacks, I think it's a different Outback. <sighs> go default everything. Okay, the only thing that's not default now are the tires, I think. Let's see if that's enough. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's still there. Dang it. Yeah, I wonder what's causing that. Yeah, I might have to change it. Switch trailers for now. Let's go for the insulated triple. And let's see if there's a job. It's the rims or tires. Yeah, but I have the same tires here on this trailer. Um... And this one doesn't have it. So yeah, it might be a different one. Hmm. I don't know. Purple carpet. Yeah. VIP. Oh, we have goods here. Oh, there's something that's going, that's going to Kaiguna. Yeah. Why not? I don't want urgent though. Um, it expires in 12 hours. Okay. We can go with that. Yes, this is some awesome map. This is called Project Australia. This will release sometime next week for free. Go to Madura. Yeah. Enter. Thank you. There it is to pick a point. Oh, that's, that's the trap I fell into because I spawned here, but it's a curved road, I see. So if it, it's a curved road, so it hit the tree. That's where the bounce was coming from. A trailer in front shouldn't, shouldn't have been a problem, but uh, yeah, everything else was not the best. So I guess what we can do 
is we can start off uh, maybe here on the straight path. Let's see. Okay, that works. That works this time. Nice. Oh, I didn't repair myself, did I? Dang it. Oh, that kind of sucks. I thought that would automatically repair my truck already if I was transferred to the, the mechanic. Mm. Okay, let's go there again. Let's go quick travel. Maybe that's easier. Oh, crap. Nah, because I'm still damaged. Good. Uh, repair. This one here? It's nice that the plate is actually here. Normally, the plate is over there. Did you have to move this manually, Venom? Or is that automatically, does that automatically shift depending on the truck length? Okay, service. A root truck. <laughs> Please no. One more job point in Kaiguna, a bit more to the south. Okay, let's check it out. Maybe that's where the, the job we took is going. If not, then we can deliver. We can go there separately later. Uh, man, my system is really lagging. I think the FPS might be a bit heavy in these parts because, yeah, I'm just looking at the map and my GPU is maxed out. That, either that or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, it's 96% and this is the map without the truck. Might be heavy on vegetation. Might, might be. Hey, what is that? Hey, Dwarfy, thank you for that. Look at that, such a nice gesture. Thank you for the gifted sub to Venom there. Appreciate it, man. For you, we get the roof truck. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> GG, man, thanks. You modified the prefab to fit longer combinations. Ah, oh, that's attention to detail right there. Thank you. Good you thought about it. I wouldn't have. <laughs> Good. All right. You, you weren't able to exit the mechanic before modifying it. Ah, so you encountered a similar problem. Oh, thank you for beta, beta testing it for us. Yeah, indeed. I think I'll hit that tree. Oi. Always just a tad shorter than where I should be. <laughs> Didn't do anything. There you go. Oh, yeah, there's something a bit, I think. Yeah, let's just drive there manually. The big cam, hey, yes, wow, you know it, you know it. Now, where is that thing? Oh, here, okay, just go straight in. Man, that looks scary from the back, huh? Hey, hey, Miguel! How's it going, man? Busy days trucking? In real life? How are things? Glad you made it. And yes, we do have Transcode today. So if you're watching from the road, it should at least be workable with you. Didn't forget Anonymous button at all. <laughs> Thanks, Dwarfy. No, thank you, Mr. Anonymous. We don't know who it is, guys. But that gentle soul, that kind soul gave us up to Venom. Thank you, whoever you are. Ark is here. You better go. Oh my 
goodness, I think I snagged onto something. We might be taking a tree with us, guys. <laughs> Decoration. Might be a bit heavy on performance. It's quite interesting actually because if even if I have the truck, it's still smooth. But yeah, everything else, I think it's prioritizing the game. And the, the amount of detail here, and of course, flag. Very nice shot. Goodness. The vibes in this place. Sure thing, Jay. No, I'm not using NL at the moment, is it? I'll be waiting until we get confirmation if it's going public. If it will stay in private, I don't think I'll be using it. Because otherwise, I'll be getting too many questions from people. What mod I'm using, how to download it, and I will not be able to answer them how to download it, unfortunately. So I'm taking one for the team. If you don't have it, then neither do I. That's the one. Is this the right one? Why is that then confused? Interesting. Just catching a little break, nice. Alabama, how's the weather in Alabama? There it is, now it's breaking again. Finally got the emotes, what? How did you fix it? Hey, there, there it is. A wild kangaroo. Spotted in its natural habitat. That could have been us. That was us, actually. <laughs> Played ETS2 with a friend that is addicted to the game since a few weeks ago. Longest job we did was 3.4 hours in real life. Nice. So, you guys were doing convoys, or were you like in one PC and right next to each other? It's pretty cool. Portugal with to Finland with no fairies. Congrats, man. GG. Goodness, it's nice to have a friend who drives with you. Which app now has follower emotes? Oh, so that was the thing. I see. So it was the app which doesn't support the feature yet. Cool. Have a good night, Storm. Thanks for hanging out, man. Hopefully, our next uh, trip in ETS2 in Tromso is in better weather. Around 60. 60 is around 15 degrees Celsius, maybe? Something like that? Because 70 degrees Fahrenheit is around 24 degrees Celsius, right? So I'm guessing around 20, 15 to 20. One boy, cool. That sounds like a fun. GoPro, yeah, we're, we'll be waiting for it, Miguel. Stay safe, man. Still testing. <laughs> ETS without the NPI tweaks. <laughs> yeah, like the, the, the flashbang. Yeah. I guess there's a setting. Yeah, it, it does sound tricky. I, I think I understand your problem because I think I've encountered that before. In many cameras, once you start recording a video, its exposure is locked. And I think you have to have a setting to unlock that. Because otherwise, if you like start in a dark place or darker place than usual, start recording, and then you get to a very bright place, then the exposure wouldn't adjust and you'll just get this flashback the entire time. 
here we are with the bushfire again yikes and that's deadly huh yeah I remember in Australia you, you guys recently had a massive fire problem right was it 2020 2021 that was fairly recent I think could we go and explore here and we have time It's so much harder to stop. Jake braking is not enough to slow down this thing. I have to really step on the brakes as well. Sure thing, Moraz. <laughs> you got stuck. The yacht, the yacht, the yacht was too big. The boat, stick the boat. I'm having a hard time pronouncing it. The Bell 47, oh yeah, that is the dream, yes. That's why I'm staying away from helicopters at the moment. Because after flying with the honeycomb yoke as much as possible, I don't want to go back to my plastic hotas anymore. I want to get a proper hotas. So I probably will get into helicopters again when I upgrade. Hopefully I'll get into the war thug as well. Ooh, bumpy. I think you have the angle right. Yeah, probably just an auto exposure setting. I see Bisco opening a can of worms here. We had, we had a huge discussion about that as if um, many folks are not thrilled about it. But yes, if I have a chance, I will feature it. We will check it out together. And you guys will decide on your own if it's worth it to you or not. One thing I'll say is uh, maybe give it a chance. Maybe approach it with an open mind. And if at the end of the day it's not worth it to you, then it's not worth it to you. But don't shut it out immediately. Was Miguel? I wonder if. I wonder if. Is there a, an invisible wall here? Or can you drive on the outside of the road? Oh, we can! How far? This, this, this is starting to be like that game that should never be named. Off road is spiders. Okay, let's get back on the road then. <laughs> Big spiders. Oh my goodness. Like tarantula level spiders. Ow, 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 ow. It goes on and on and on. Oh my goodness. That is great. It's great that you modeled this one, Venom. Because I, I it, that's something that frustrates me when you have like these open areas that have invisible walls. So you can't really drive through them, it's fake. So here it's nice that you can actually drive through those areas. Granted, you should never do that. But uh, still, it's them being there is something, right? Allows for more freedom, more sandboxy environment. Huntsman spiders, are those big ones? I can imagine. You got inspired by got inspired by his setup. Who set up? Hopefully he can make it work. And looking forward to it, man. Let's just loop around here. Goodness. 
keep losing my gears today. <laughs> Don't say that, game. That's true. Are these sh sheep? Didn't notice them there. There's a lot of them. Whoa. Is this road two way? Oh my goodness, look at all of them. Are they bouncing around? They are kind of bouncing around. Interesting. <laughs> See, they're like bobbing up and down like they're in water. <laughs> Very interesting. Looks like Larkson Farm. Oh my goodness, is there a season 2 coming with that? It's a very good season. I really enjoyed that. Made me almost want to get back into farming. Almost. <laughs> but not quite. Oh, by Matt. Cool. Nice, man. Those are Calvinator's cousins. Rook. Ah, I see what you mean. Yeah. That terrain has to go that far, otherwise, you see a dead end. Yeah. You see, like, a, the edge of the world, literally. Those sheep are basically trees floating around. <laughs> Good trick, man. Good trick. Limits on how many animated objects you can have. Ah, so you made them into trees. Those are trees in sheep's clothing, you mean? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Three angles. Fancy, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> cool stuff. Three angles already. Oh, but you need to do more grow for us. Yes, that would make sense. No, but I think starting with one is more than enough. It would be cool already. At least in my point of view. Good. Horse feedback plug in for the win. I like it. Goodness, my, my arms are getting a workout. <laughs> Trying to keep this wheel stable. Alan is not happy. Where the heck have you taken us now? <laughs> Goodness. Normally, when you go back, doesn't that happen to you guys too? Like when you go somewhere, right? You're you're looking for a place. It takes so long. It feels so long. But after you've been there and it's time to go back home or go back, that trip back feels so much faster. Do you guys have that same feeling? Because I always have that. Although except here, in this case, this feels a lot longer. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel each and every bump more. Oh yes. I wonder what kind of phenomenon that is, huh? Must be something with psychology or something, but there is always that factor. Like, going back the same way is like half as long as going there the first time. Very interesting. And like, you know it's going to happen, but you still feel it. Trump incoming. Very nice. 
Nice. Safe. Testing footage. Looking forward to it, man. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Big white cats. Yeah, he doesn't know if they're trees, they're sheep. To his eyes, they're probably all cats. It sounds so good. wasn't able to see what that sign was saying. Is that an ad? Maybe? The skies are very nice. Is this default? I, mean, I, I don't have any graphics mods. So unless, I don't know Venom, do you have like custom skyboxes? This looks very good to me. Also, the, a while ago, the, the photo we took. It's very nice. You can see the trailer kind of having that caterpillar moment. So yeah, right there with the bump. <laughs> Wave. Very nice. Skyboxes are default, but the lighting has been changed. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, so that is possible. So the, the lighting is not dependent or fully reliant on the skybox. I see. So you can customize that, how yellow it is, how white, and stuff. Cool. It definitely feels hot here. I wonder if you can see, yeah, it's 29 degrees outside, guys. Goodness. Aboriginal region. What does that mean? Sorry. FFB plugin, yeah, I think the FFB plugin really only works well with the G27. I think not with the other wheels. Um, who was it? Was it Suprik who made that? Yeah, he has a G27, so the 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 the, the powers, the feedback itself is fine-tuned for that G27. And even if it's Logitech, it's still different with other wheels. Looks like. Yeah, because users of like G29, G920, I think even G25, I'm not so sure. Oh, I, I would have wanted to stop there. Dang it. Let's look at it from afar. Yeah, th those, each and every one of these rest areas, they have their unique quality. That one has a playground. One, one second. There's a kangaroo and a treadmill in there. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's working out, guys. Don't disturb him. Oh, is that a bug? <laughs> Looks more like a feature than a bug. <laughs> I'll take it. You don't need to change it. Let's put that under Easter egg. This map is in early access as if yes, but it should be released by next week, a couple of days, based on Venom. Venom is the mod author, the map maker. It should be released for free. It's already in the mods list, so you can check out the SCS link there, the SCS forum thread link. And yes, it will be released soon. Quigley down under. Oh my goodness, is that my generation? <laughs> Dang it. I think I'll have to look that up. Alright, Daniel. 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. Fell asleep on your chair. Well, thank you for waking up and saying goodbye first. Appreciate it, man. Happy weekend and uh, catch you soon. Appreciate the company. But it's Easter egg, yes. Alright. Stay safe, Miguel. Looking forward to those videos. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Man, life on the road, fun stuff. Stay safe. Second, let me just, just see. 
it's like a specific region where aboriginal people have their settlements and stuff ah ah okay i see that sign i see i see okay yeah i think i hear that term a lot i think in the philippines we have lots of those too those regions if you wanted to look even nicer setting the skybox to zero i got scolded by by cox for doing that let's try it so you guys you, you know the if you've watched the natural lux video at some point the skybox turned red right um cox told me that it was because i set the skybox manually i'm not sure if that's really the case beautiful beautiful i'm not sure if that's really the case maybe it's specific to the natural lux revival but normally i've never gotten a red sky because i changed the skybox very nice shouldn't be the case here thank you man and now it feels hot yeah and indeed it's 35 outside oh my goodness 35 <gasps> G underscore set underscore skybox space and then put in the number. Start from zero, increase it bit by bit. Oh, we should be stopping at these guys next time. I should. That one has a dog too. <laughs> should be stopping at these signs. Goes up to 39. So how how did you manage that venom? I thought it was default uh, skies. Because the default sky only all goes up to 5 6 The sky transition was so subtle. <laughs> was that sarcastic? <laughs> yeah, we call that the weather pop-ins in MSFS. <laughs> Yes. Um, just one set. G set skybox and then spaced in the number. There we go. Man, it feels so hot with this lighting. Especially with how bright it is outside and then the inside the cabin looks dark Looks good Ah, one second. So you added your custom weather. You, you, you use the same skyboxes from the default But you made your own weather profiles, right? The combinations of the sky and the lighting so that all those combinations come up to 39 i think i'm starting to get you now because if you're in the default map you can only set the skybox up to around five or six that's the only if you go higher it won't change anymore ah the profiles are custom okay okay thank you i got you man that's nice goodness no wonder it's a lot more scenic yeah because if you're able to like fine tune the weather profile choose the skies you like change to the lighting you like that definitely will be a lot more interesting 90 miles straight isn't the 90 miles straight the one we that the one we're driving on this one is different interesting yeah the subtle bumps i really like too it's not just a flat road right subtle bumps and then the landscape changes you have some bushy areas some barren areas some burnt areas the rest area in here I hope we can fit through there but yeah even these simple things right the rest areas feel so real because of all the assets in there tables chairs cups like someone's been there 
Very nice, man. Amazing work. Yeah, just how the, the objects are placed feels so natural. You don't get that feeling that something was just like plopped down randomly. They all kind of blend together. Very nice. The 90 mile straight golf area. Ah, okay. I see. SCS for the bumps. Yeah, very nice job. Ooh, what is this? We're actually going off road here. Hope my trailers can fit in. I don't think they will. The sharp turn. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, we don't have an invisible wall. By the way, Alex and Jack, I'm starting to get used to shifting with this one. I'm not hitting that notch anymore. And I'm not going to the rightmost gear slot anymore. Yeah, it is muscle memory. Very nice. Starting to enjoy it even more now. Call their golf courses after points. Ah, I see. So it's based on the 90 mile straight. But it's the golf course, the golf area near the 90 mile straight. Got it. Yes, that is my main fear, reversing these triples. Thankfully, I have a G simple parking double set to 1 as a default setting. I'm guessing that also affects triples. Yeah, this should be a straight in. Oh, 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 oh new shifter, yes. A few weeks, I bought the THHA shifter from Thrustmaster. And it's very, very nice because the... The one that came with the G27 was starting to give out. Sometimes the gears weren't getting recognized. Sometimes I was getting kicked out of my gear back into neutral. Even if the physical shifter was okay, the, the system was recognizing it was going back to neutral. Yeah, after that it was just like, oh, let's just buy a new one, be done with it. Yeah, it's worth it. Um, maybe parking brake first and then let's submit that there you go thank you these depot support combinations up to 60 meters long four full-size trailers oh my goodness <laughs> that is amazing stuff man let's take one more photo i think we'll end it here guys a few minutes earlier but uh, i need to rest I have some big meetings later today. Wish me luck. And I have to conserve my voice. So thank you for joining me on this stream. Thank you Venom for this amazing map. Looking forward to releasing it for public so the others can try it out as well. And thank you for joining us in our stream and showcasing it to us. And, uh, helping us fill in the gaps because yeah it's nice to be exploring on our own but it's even nicer if you have the the mod author in to provide some more context on the behind the scenes stuff it helps us appreciate more what we're driving in so really thankful for that and thanks everyone for joining all the resubs the follows glad to have you here it's been a while i feel like it's been so long and uh thanks for joining appreciate the company yeah. Have a good one. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Happy weekend. Catch you in Discord. Let's continue the discussions there. Okay? Have a good one and uh, clumsy trucking. Thanks and stay safe, guys. Hang in there. Bye-bye.